Okay, I'm going to show you an easy way within Windows 7 to restore accidentally deleted files and folders, photos, music, anything like that. Um, now, before we start, for this to work, you must have either Windows Backup running or Windows System Restore. Um, this is available on all versions of Windows 7. Um, this procedure can be done on Vista, um, but for for that to work within Home Premium, we need a third party tool to actually get that to work, but we won't worry about that now. Um, this is purely for Windows 7 users. So, um, we've got videos over at DIYPCRepairs.net on how to set up System Restore within Windows 7. Um, but I'll just quickly show you now um, the, the way to check is go down to the start button and then right click on computer and go down to properties I'm not going to go into this in huge detail um, then we left click system protection and you'll find that there we have the uh, system restore dialog box and you'll see that the two drives that I'm interested in protecting are actually switched on so that's how you check system restore. So what I want to uh, what I want to show you now, let's just get rid of that, is um, an easy way of restoring an accidentally deleted file. And to do that, I've got a file in, uh, in my documents, and it's named work. And if we go in there, we've got a file within words called do not delete. Um, and what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to delete this. You know, this this could be an important file. You know, the photo. You don't. You know, it could be anything. And we've all accidentally deleted things. Um, if you delete something like that, dead easy. Down to the recycle bin. Most people know this. Um, it'll sit in there until you empty the recycle bin, or the recycle bin gets to the point that it's full, and it'll start to slowly empty itself. Um, so once we're in the recycle bin, all we do is we right click and you'll see that we get the restore, so we hit restore that'll send it back to the uh, documents folder and there it is but what sometimes happens is a file will get deleted and then we accidentally empty the recycle bin now at this point a lot of people will look at this and go whoa, we, you know, we're past the point of no return here um, you're into backup territory um, what I'm going to show you isn't a replacement for backup. Um, you know, if you've got important files and folders on your computer, it's always best to have enough, you know, a backup that's kept out of the way and away from the machine. External hard drives are now pretty cheap. Um, you've also got the online backup. Um, there's a few companies that do that nowadays, so it's always best to have at least one copy of your data, preferably two. Um, so back to our work folder that we've just del accidentally deleted. Um, we can't restore from the document shortcut. What we'll do is go into the user profile, so we're going to there, and in there you'll see my documents. So we open that up. Now, what we want to do is we want to right click on an empty area of the screen and go down to properties. So we left click properties and we get the my documents properties box opening up and you'll see up there that we have a tab called previous versions so if we click that what's going to be shown here is a list of every copy the system has of my documents now the folder we deleted was within my documents so to get this file back or this folder back we have to restore the folder it was in it's you know the hierarchy thing um, so you'll see that we've got a backup from today um, so it's best to restore the latest version of the file or folder, or photos, music, whatever. Um, and then if that doesn't work, I mean again this can be used for corrupted files um, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, but then work backwards till you find one that works. So we're going to click on my documents from today's system restore and then we just hit restore. It's going to ask us do we want to restore to a specific date and time. Yes we hit restore. We click OK. We'll click. So you'll now see that we have our work folder back, and if we go out of there and go into, into documents, there we go, and it's the full 
the full thing. Now, this is a great little safety feature in Windows 7, but as I say, you need to have System Restore enabled. So that's a very easy way of doing basic um, data restoration on Windows 7. And I'd like to thank you for viewing.